Despite making cars like the Tesla Roadster and Model X, Tesla hasn't gained much popularity. When Elon Musk launched the Tesla Model 3 in 2017, all eyes were on one name, Tesla. At that point, Tesla reached a turning point in its history. I think it was safe to say that the Tesla Model 3 was the biggest product of 2020. It generated a lot of revenue and market value for Tesla and helped it pass $1 trillion in market value. So, what would happen to the stocks of Tesla if they launched the Model 3 in 2022? Well, let's talk about it in today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to Tesla News Explained. Hit the subscribe button to get every news about Tesla. Also, do not forget to press the bell icon to get notified when we upload the new video. So, with that being said, let's hop into the video. In recent days, Tesla shares have reversed from their recent downward trajectory and have gained 3% after key analysts raised their price targets for the stock. According to Goldman Sachs analyst Mark Delaney, Tesla has been rated as one of his top picks at the firm. While Morgan Stanley bull Adam Jonas told investors that Tesla has won the race to develop an electric vehicle. Both analysts have increased their price targets for Tesla shares. It turns out Tesla's gross profit margin is one of the highest in the industry, as it costs Tesla an average of just $36,000 to build just one of its electric vehicles. A healthy margin of 29% is something most automakers can only dream of, but Tesla is committed to bringing its production costs even lower in the future without sacrificing quality. Nasdaq-listed Tesla reported record quarterly and annual earnings last week, notching the company's single largest quarterly and annual net profit numbers of $2.32 billion for Q4 and $5.5 billion on $53.8 billion of revenue for 2021. The company has a bit over 10% net income for the year, but the margins on building electric cars are much higher than on traditional cars. Tesla's latest earnings report includes the tidbit that its cost of goods sold COGS directly linked to the production of an electric vehicle reached $36,000 in the second half of 2021. That's how much a Tesla car costs in parts and assembly. Although a Model S played or a Model Y will cost more to build than the Model 3 that starts at $4,000 to $5,000 MSRP, Tesla's CFO said its reported gross margin across all its vehicles is very healthy. The CFO said, in Q4, specifically the automotive gross margin, excluding credits, increased to 29.2%, which is the highest in our history. As we grow our volumes and improve our operating leverage, we should continue to see strong operating margins. On a longer-term horizon, we're quite optimistic about margin expansion. We're driving manufacturing innovations and operational efficiency to cut costs on the hardware side. Having a gross profit margin of nearly 30% from your immediate operations right now and the potential for further gains will definitely make Tesla investors happy. Clearly, it's not Apple's 42% gross margin per unit, but it's still a significant accomplishment for a company that makes electric cars that many others are attempting to make profitable. As per Tesla's Q4 report, while EVs were often deemed structurally unprofitable due to expensive batteries, we were convinced that manufacturing innovation purpose-built vehicles and factories would solve cost concerns. In Q3 2021, the last widely reported quarter, Tesla achieved the highest operating margin across all volume OEMs. Cost COGS per vehicle dropped to $36,000 in both Q3 and Q4 2021. The CFO said, We believe our current projects, including large castings, structural battery pack, 4,680 cells, and many others, should help us continue to minimize our product cost. Still, the highest Tesla profit margins have been priced in, and the stock has fallen after the earnings report. But as a result of opening Gigafactory Berlin, Tesla's stock value increased over 8% during the past few weeks, which is again, one of the effects of the Model 3 is that it is rumored that Giga Berlin will release a new version of the Tesla Model 3 at the end of this summer. But the catch is this Model 3 is going to be a little bit cheaper than the last one, but will still be as safe and packed with more technology as the last one. So, I think it is fair to say that this car has the potential to revolutionize the future of Tesla once again. And that's it for today's video. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified when we come up with a new video. Peace out.